In this video, you will learn to compute confidence intervals for the difference between two proportions using StatCrunch. The data set I'll be using is called Top US Problems. This data set comes from a Gallup survey taken in July and August 2014, which asked 945 Republicans and 854 Democrats to name the biggest problem for the United States. The party column contains the respondent's party affiliation, either Republican or Democrat, the response column contains the top problem identified by the respondent. Only the top four responses are tabulated here. Immigration, dysfunctional government, economy, and unemployment. The remaining responses are listed as other. So for this video, the statistical question I'm going to investigate is, is there a significant difference between the proportion of Republicans and the proportion of Democrats that identify immigration as the top problem? To compute the appropriate confidence interval, under the stat menu, I'll choose proportion stats to sample with data. For both sample 1 and sample 2 and the values inbox, I'll choose response. The success input is used to define the outcome of interest. So in this case, I'll set this value to immigration for both sample 1 and sample 2. Note, StatCrunch is case sensitive, so you need to type this in the exact same way as it appears in the data table. Now, to limit the respondents in the first sample to only Republicans, in the where box, I'm going to type party equal Republican. And now, for sample 2, to limit that to only Democrats, I'll type party equal Democrat in the where box. Now, under perform, I'll choose confidence interval. By default, StatCrunch has a value of 0.95 for level, which will produce a 95% confidence interval for the population proportion. However, for this example, I'll enter 0.99 for the input. This will produce a 99% confidence interval instead. I'll click Compute. The results show a 99% confidence interval for the difference between the two population proportions, with L limit representing the lower limit and U limit representing the upper limit of this confidence interval.